Hi guys, TJ here, and today we're going to be talking about Ladybird. This film is kind of like The Edge of Seventeen mixed with Freaks and Geeks. Lady Bird is a comedy drama directed and written by Greta Gerwig. The film stars Saoirse Ronan um, in the role of Christine Lady Bird McPherson. You may know from the Grand Budapest Hotel or Brooklyn where she played Ailish, the main character. Um, she does a fantastic job in this film. Uh, she's definitely the highlight. Uh, she has this very strange character um, that is quite endearing to watch. Lady Bird is an eccentric teenage rebel um, that you actually really like. A lot of the times you can find the you know the rebel characters in films kind of annoying but you really like Lady Bird right off the bat. So Lady Bird is not her real name. Her real name is Christine um, but she chooses to go by Lady Bird because she feels as if you know you should go by the name that you give yourself not by the name that others give to you. And in a way that kind of reflects the entire theme of this film. This film is about finding who you are as a person rather than just getting your identity from what others think of you or what others expect of you. And she's just trying to figure out her way through uh, the complications that come with life in general. This film acts as a commentary not only on the city of Sacramento itself, but also on growing up, Catholic school life, um, being a teenager, the struggles that come along with economic turmoil, and the transition to adulthood. Like many films that center on a younger high school student, uh, this is a coming of age tale, and it balances the line between comedy and drama quite well. Throughout the course of this film, Lady Bird is really trying to find out who she is, um, and in certain ways, who she needs to be. Sir Ronan was by far the best part of this film. Her performance was just really genuine. Um, she definitely is able to betray that uh, that anxiety that comes along with being a teenager in their final year of high school, especially when you're in such a precarious position, not only with your family's struggles, but also with the struggles of trying to get into the school that you want, trying to become the person that you think that you want to be. I feel like a lot of people are going to relate to the, this character's struggle in their senior year of high school. The younger members of the cast in this film do a terrific job um, at just getting that high school tone down right. All that's many familiar elements are still there in this film um, and it definitely is well done. This film doesn't have the structure of many other films like it. Um, it really is kind of just the moments throughout her senior year of high school. It's really shot in just kind of like these clips of different moments throughout her senior year of high school and I think that works better for just getting us to uh, relate to the, the struggles that this character is going through. It's kind of like just slices of life here and there that you get but it's told cohesively so you can understand uh, obviously what is going on and there's a logical progression um, in her life. It gets us to relate to the character uh, Lady Bird and it really makes us kind of have to experience everything that she is experiencing along with her. This is a very down-to-earth film that a lot of people are going to be able to relate to um, just because of the core question that this film asks. I know it's a small indie film. If you can, I would try to find this in a theater near you. Um, this is one of the more heartfelt and down-to-earth films that you're going to see this year. I would definitely say that you should go see Lady Bird in theaters. Well, that's all I got today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you on the next one.